Chad with Rocky Mountain Crane here. If something were to happen to your crane, you have a load suspended and say for example, you've lost power. Uh, you need to make the determination uh, between you and a qualified person as to what needs to be done so that you can properly stow your crane for the night. If for some reason it's determined you need to lower the load to the ground, this is how we're gonna do it using the emergency brake releases on our hoist drum. So first things first we wanna do is we want to depress our emergency stop on our hoist. We'll remove each of these uh, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter head screws. With the cover removed, we can now install our tool. Our tools are located underneath the emergency stop switch here on the hoist motor itself. What we'll see is in the top cover of this uh, brake coil, uh, there'll be two machined holes, 180 degrees from each other. We'll install the threaded portion of our tool in, turning the nut. This will actually thread into the brake disc itself. We will mate the end of our tool to the machine surface on the face of the coil. until it's hand tight and repeat the process on the other side. With our two tools in place, we can grab each one of them. And as we pull out, it pulls the brake off of the motor and the motor will begin free spilling. If you don't pull hard enough, that drum will not turn and the brake will not release completely. Only takes hand force, but make sure you are pulling completely all the way through. Okay, one thing to keep in mind guys, we've lowered our hook block all the way to the ground. We're able to uh, unhook our load. We don't have power or we still have that same failure. We don't have the ability to lift the hook block back up. This should be an absolute last uh, worst case scenario, but we'll advise you at that time. 